You will now learn what a gem is and how to install it. We will do this by adding Bootstrap as a gem. We will modify the application style sheet and JavaScript files so we can make use of styling with Bootstrap. All right, let's get started again. Open up your terminal and type cd in your project's directory path. I will enlarge the font again here so you see better. Alright, cd. My project path is roar projects slash blog. Alright, and then I type adam space dot to open up my text editor. Open up a new tab. I enlarge the text again and type rails space s oopsie, to start your server. While this starts up, let me explain a bit about the RubyGem software. It is a software that allows you to download and use specifically made Ruby software packages on your system. These packages are called gems and contains a Ruby application. Gems make it easy for you to extend the functionality of your application. Okay, so we will use the gem file today. Okay, open up your browser and go to rubygems.org. In the search bar that comes up, type bootstrap. Say bootstrap. Okay, I forgot a little T there. There we go. Okay. All right, this takes us to a list of available Bootstrap gems. Select the first one and click on it. Uh, this gives basic information about the gem. The right columns contains links to the gem and home page. Click home page link. This will take us to the GitHub page where the installation and configuration instructions are posted. Let's open up a new tab for the GitHub page. So copy the the URL and paste it in. Okay, so here we have the instruction we need to follow to make use of the bootstrap in our application. So go back to the other ta tab again and then go back so you go to the RubyGem website. In the small black box, copy, click on it to copy gem bootstrap and then go back to your text editor. Click on gem file to open it up and scroll down. Above where it says group space column development, paste in the gem bootstrap code. All right, let's go back to the Ruby gem website and under where it says install, click on the little black box to copy gem install bootstrap. Now this time go to your terminal. and paste in this code and hit enter. This will install Bootstrap and all its dependency for this gem. Okay, let's go back to the GitHub page and let's scroll down and see what else it says. Okay, it says ensure that Sprocket Rails is at least the version 2.3.2. All right. So Bootstrap need this gem as well. So let's go back to the uh, Ruby gem website and type Sprocket Rails in it and search for it. Okay, here we go. Let's pick the very top one as before. So it's 64 million downloads, so it's a popular gem. So, so this is version 3.2.1, which is later than 2.3.2. So we are in business. So let's go and get this gem back to the Ruby gem website and again copy the little black box there is a gem sprocket rails and go to your text editor and underneath where it says bootstrap paste in the sprocket rails gem code all right let's go back to the Ruby gem website again and we will in follow the same procedure as before so under install 
click on the little black box where it says gem install sprocket rails go to terminal and paste it in hit enter and it installs sprocket rails and all its dependencies all right let's go back to the github page and let's see what else the instruction says all right now we will run the bundle install so go to your terminal and type in or if you paste the bundle install okay uh, I didn't uh, copy it properly so I will just type bundle install and hit enter <coughs> now I actually already have an old version of, of sprocket rails installs so I might get an error um, okay I did e What's neat is they usually comes up with some instructions what to do. So here it tells me to that I need to do bundle update. So I type bundle update and I hit enter. You should not have these instructions if you never installed Sprocket Rails before. All right. So while this is running and updating and installing for you, let's go back to the GitHub page and continue follow the instructions. Okay, so next it says that we need to import bootstrap styles in our app slash assets slash style sheet slash application dot CSS. And we need to put in this code in the CSS file. So add import double quotation bootstrap. So copy this code and then it says make sure that the file has dot SCSS extension. If you have just generated a new Rails app, it might come with a, a dot .css. All right, so let's go to the text editor, click on. The app folder, click on the assets folder, click on the style sheets folder and open up application file. Okay, so I have in my extension already SCSS, but if you don't, you need to rename it from CSS to SCSS. So between the dot and the C, type in an S. And it needs to be lowercase. All right, hit enter. There we go. And underneath these instructions, paste in add import double quotation bootstrap and end with a semicolon. So let's go back to the GitHub page and continue to read the instructions. So it said, do not use star equal sign require in SAS file. And we need to remove all the star equal sign require and star equal sign, sign <laughs> require three. Okay, <clears throat> now let's go back to your text editor and to the application file. I don't have, mine was not generated with a star equal sign, but if you have anything that then said star equal sign require or star equal sign require underscore three, just remove it. All right, so let's go back to our GitHub page and continue reading. Okay, the next says here, we also need to install the gem called jQuery dash Rails. Okay. Now, uh, back in the text editor in the gem file, you see here, I already have it installed. I did it on purpose because I want you to this time install it yourself. So copy the jQuery-Rails, go to your gem web page and paste it in and search for it. Select the top one. You're gonna follow the same procedure again. You copy the gem file code and you paste it into your gem file in your text editor. You copy the gem install jQuery and you will paste that into your terminal. All right. Okay, so here are the instruction one, paste it in into your gem file. Two, copy the install code and paste it into the terminal. And then three, you need to run bundle install again.
All right, back in the terminal, we see that mine is done. I run bundle update. Remember, I had that little error. Let's go back to the GitHub page and see what else we need to do. Bootstrap tool tips and popover depends on Popper.js and it's a few other things. So you see this code right here where it says require popper and require bootstrap dash sprockets. So we need to paste this into our JavaScript file. So go back to your text editor, click on JavaScript folder, click on application.js and under where it says require rails dash paste in this code popper and bootstrap sprockets. Go back to your terminal and we're now going to restart our server. So click control C and then to start it again type rails space s. Anytime when you do updates with your gem file you need to restart the server to make sure that we can see all the changes properly. Okay. All right, let's go back to the GitHub page and actually let's open up a new tab and let's look at our web page. Okay, see if any changes have taken place. So type localhost colon 3000. The only thing we should see now is basically a change in the font that is generated by the bootstrap gem. All right, so it should be a little prettier fonts showing than before. All right, there we go. We have a little prettier font. Let's click on my blog and go to the list of all the articles there. All right. We have also some changes here. Click on a show link. Okay, we have changes made here too. And I think also the the form has changed a little bit as well. And the create comment button has changed. Go back to your terminal and go to your where you have your path listed. Type in clear and let's do git status and then type git add space dot and then let's do git commit space dash m single quotation and let's type in what we did we added bootstrap actually we added the bootstrap gem and sprocket rails gem and you also added the jquery dash rails gem so you should type that as well and then we modified or updated the the bundler. Remember, we have to run bundler in order to be updated properly. And then we also added um, we modified our application CSS and application .js files too. So I will type we added Bootstrap to SCSS and js files. That should do it. Hit enter. Alright, type clear. Okay, type git status again. On branch master, nothing to commit. We're all done. And next time we will make it much much prettier and we'll be used the bootstrap uh, styles. Okay, have a good time. See you next time. Bye bye. But it still gets me where I wanna go.